Hi there. So today is an absolutely brilliant day. And I'm not talking about for myself, I'm talking about for you. Now, I'm guessing you know from the caption of this video why I say this because of all of those scholarships up for grabs. But let's get to the juicy details. The UK government just announced that they are offering 75 scholarships only for Indian students to study in the UK to celebrate India's 75th year of independence. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you all of the details on everything you need to know about these scholarships and how you can apply for one. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashika and on this channel we talk about moving to the UK, whether you're a dependent, a working professional or a student. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, now is the time to do it. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for notifications. All right, so to give you some context, India is celebrating its 75th year of independence ironically from the British. So the British government is offering in conjunction with the Indian government 75 scholarships to commemorate this occasion. And in case you're not aware of it, this is the largest number of scholarships that have been offered for a one-year master's program ever. So, I mean, that's brilliant, right? That just makes 2022 suddenly all the more a lot better. Among the scholarships being offered include the Chevening Scholarships for Indian students looking to undertake a one-year master's at any UK university in any subject. It will cover tuition, living expenses and travel costs. But do keep in mind that the scholarship requires the applicants to have at least two years of work experience. Now, in case you're wondering who's offering these scholarships, it boasts of names like HSBC, which has teamed up with Chevening to offer 15 scholarships just by itself. The British Council has also teamed up and is offering 18 scholarships in STEM subjects, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Now, the scholarships being offered by British Council are exclusively for women covering 15,000 subjects and across 150 universities in the UK. Along with this, the British Council is also offering six scholarships exclusively for English scholarships. Pearson India will sponsor two scholarships and there's HUL, there's Duolingo and Tata and Sons that are sponsoring one scholarship each. Now, coming down to what this scholarship actually includes. The scholarship includes a university tuition fee, a monthly stipend, travel costs to and from the UK, an arrival allowance, a homeward departure allowance, the cost of one visa application, and a travel grant to attend achievement events in the UK. Now, I'm sure you're extremely excited and for you to apply, you need to know what documents are needed on your part. So here goes. All Chevening applicants must submit their education documents, their references and one unconditional UK university offer. The deadline for all of this will be mentioned on the Chevening website. Now, coming down to probably the most important part, how do you actually apply? How do you get this scholarship and how do you take care of a lot of your expenses of moving to the UK to study? So if you head over to the Chevening website, you'll see that the applications haven't opened yet. They open on the 2nd of August. So the good news is you've got yourself a bit of time. Now, if I were you, I would use all of this time to read all the fine print and see what is required on my part and actually keep a reminder for the date. Keep a reminder on your phone so you do not forget to apply in time. And here's the thing. While there are 75 scholarships and it's the largest number of scholarships they've offered for a one-year program, something you do need to keep in mind is that thousands of students are going to be applying for this. So you do not want to wait till the deadline. You want to apply as soon as you can. So keep all of the information you're going to need ready in advance. And on that day, all you should be doing is hitting the submit button as soon as you can. Now, here's the thing. If you plan on moving to the UK as a student, which I'm assuming you are because you're watching this video, it's really important for you to know what you're expected to do once you come here. In the stress of moving here and in the excitement and all of that, a lot of students forget to do really, really important things once they move to the UK. They completely blank out, they completely forget to do it and then it's a little late. So I know you're going to be stressed. So to help you out with this, I have already made a list of everything you need to do once you move to the UK. Now, if you'd like to know more about this and would like to make your life infinitely simpler, all you need to do is click this video. 